Fighting Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Blue Lock episode Nagi chapter 13. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter we saw um, Nagi break up with Rayo, and oh, how it was depicted was absolutely beautiful. And poor, poor Rayo, man, I feel so bad for him. I do, and I can't wait to see. What's going to happen from Nagi's perspective? Oh, I can't wait to see what happens, especially when Asagi leaves the group. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Oh, I can't wait. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled, I Never Thought. I get to play soccer on the same team as Asagi. I'm so excited. Let's do this top three. A three on three battle for five points. Second selection, third stage rivalry battle. Kick off. Let's go. Oh, Baki Rai, miss you. I do. Meanwhile, in the matching room. Oh, poor Rayo. I've lived my life always getting all the things I wanted. Yeah. Oh my god, are those Wii controllers? <laughs> the Wii controllers! Oh my god, I can't. I... I'm, I want to try making an effort, dude. Nagi saying that just is is everything to me. I love when Nagi said that. And I know he said that in the main manga too, but like seeing it now, especially after what we've been seeing in the main manga as of late, it makes me happy. It does. So I'm sure that uh, that prodigy is the first treasure I haven't been able to make mine. Oh, the shippers are going fucking wild. You know it's true. If I hadn't come to Blue Lock, maybe I wouldn't have had to know this feeling. Damn it! Damn it! But you know, Nagi, the truth is, I realized something back there. Seeing you in trans by and heated up about soccer, seeing you, um, become aware of your own talent, and when you lost to a Saki and learned about, um, frustration, seeing you like that, this is frustrating. Made me so happy. Dude, I love this art. But like, I also do want to point this out. I like that we're getting Rayo's perspective on this. I do. This is really important. Especially when, remember, um, during the Manshine game, when, uh, when Rayo and Nagi reconnected, like really reconnected in terms of their combi, yeah, like, this really, really makes that reconnection even stronger. So, yeah, I like this. I do. I do. And, God, this art. I, especially when we see, like, Nagi's uh, reflection in Rayo's, um, in Rayo's iris. Yes. That makes me happy. I am very pleased with this art. The art, this chapter makes me happy. Oh, my God, it does. I love when we get metaphorical art. But... I wasn't the one who changed you. I felt like if I accepted that, I couldn't stay by your side. Again, this reconnection in the Manshine, um, uh, Bastion Muchin, uh, game, this makes that shit so much more powerful. It does! I tried to pretend- oh god, this metaphorical art. <laughs> I, I tried to pretend I wasn't moved and, um, put a lid on my own feelings. Then I'll join your team, Asagi. But even so, you didn't stop to learn about this new feeling called frustration. I want to play soccer with Asagi. When you said that with your eyes shining like a child's as you tried to change and move forward, I just couldn't bring myself to say it. Oh my, oh my god! This page. Okay, Nagi, go ahead. Seeing that darkness, you know, obviously representing ego. And obviously... The, pan the the light, what representing the epiphany and all that. 
you know, what, um, Rayo's Epiphany. God, this is beautiful. Jesus, I wish it wasn't, you know, Rayo um, wasn't looking really stiff. Same with this. Uh, um, Rayo and Nagi are looking a little stiff, but Jesus, the metaphorical art up in this. that Because that was my one problem I was having here, obviously, besides the stiffness, was I wanted more metaphorical art. Holy shit, am I getting it. I am very, very happy with this. This art style, oh my god, it's so beautiful. This illustrative. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Let's meet again beyond our dreams. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This dreamlike sequence is so beautiful. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I'm glad I'm starting my day off with this. Thank God I'm starting my day off with this. I'm going to say it right now. This is probably, this art right here is probably the best art I've seen in this manga. I, I, yeah, even better. That heartbreak though was good, but God, this is definitely the best. Despite the stiffness, this is definitely the best. When Rayo, um, again, when Rayo, um, said, uh, or, uh, I want to say primarily starting from, um, when Rayo was having his epiphany, you know, uh, his revelation about, and learned about frustration, seeing you like that, um, made me so happy starting there and then going and then going down, but I wasn't the one who changed you. And then that's, you know, when he's experiencing the frustration, obviously and you see the gradation and you see like the white because he's like oh fuck i'm happy for nagi i am i'm happy for my bro but i'm not happy that it wasn't me who did it why wasn't it me <laughs> um and then it goes back to the white. he's like oh fuck it wasn't me i felt like if i accepted that i couldn't stay by your side and then this right here with the darkness with the black drip and the frustration and the depression he's feeling. I try to pretend I wasn't moved and put a lid on my own feelings. That background. Oh, the background. Ugh. God, this is so good. Then, you know, after he told, Naki said, um, you know, said that he was going to join Asagi's team. You saw that blank white background. I'm going to say this. This is when blank white backgrounds work for me. It's when you utilize them in, because usually I hate blank blank white backgrounds but when you're utilizing them like this like as a contrast in a symbolic meeting like this then I can accept them but even so you didn't stop and then there's the aura behind Nagi you know representing the ego obviously to learn about this new feeling called frustration and then there's the epiphany and you know the enlightenment I can also that. Um, I want to play soccer with Asagi. When you, to do that, I want to play soccer with Asagi. And then there's Rayo's, you know, real his realization. When you said that with your eyes shining like a child, a child's as you tried to change and move forward, I just couldn't bring myself to say it. And then there it is. That oh, God. Okay, Nagi. Um, go ahead. And that was it. This moment like this whole thing is just so beautifully executed nomura i swear to god you better be like similar to um uh the main blue lock anime nomura you better be cracking the whip on um on episode nagi i swear to god if i do not see this animated in the episode nagi movie Maybe with a little bit more fluidity, obviously, but because uh, it is, as I said, it's just a little bit stiff. But if I do not see like this particular art style there, I'm going to be furious. Oh my God. Let's meet again beyond our dreams. Because again, this is so like dreamlike. It is. It's very ethere ethereal. That's the wording I'm looking for. It's very ethereal. Because remember, this is what... Um, Rayo always wanted, he wanted Nagi to enjoy playing soccer. It's kind of like a monkey's paw situation, right? 
where um, uh, be careful what you wish for because he wanted Nagi to enjoy playing soccer, but he wanted it to be with him. Oh, no. But as for those of you that are, are caught up with the main manga, I know I spoiled it, but fuck, you should always, already be caught up with the main manga. But as we already know, it does happen eventually. It does. So, oh, poor Rayo. But Rayo needs this anyway. I felt like if I said that, you'd never come back to me. I felt like her dream, see, as I mentioned here, was going to completely disappear, and I was, or, uh, uh, sorry, I fucked this up. I felt like our dream was going to disappear completely, and I was so scared and lonely. I'm so weak. Oh, God, this art is so good. I didn't want to know that people changing could be this cruel. See what I mean by the monkey's paw? This is so beautiful. It is. This is why I don't, I, I don't know how I feel. No, I'm fine with the blank white background because, as I said, uh, earlier that white background is representing the realization and he's uh and Rayo is realizing how cruel reality this is his reality check here and I'm happy with that I'm happy oh, I'm so happy with this metaphorical art damn this ring guy is seriously OP oh I can't wait for uh, speaking of I can't wait for Rin the Fasagi is not already well he's gonna be Mostly, hopefully, thrown off his pedestal against uh, Ubers. I want Rin to completely destroy his fucking ego and get his revenge. I do. If that does not happen, I'm going to be pissed. Pakura, Nagi, stop him! Bring it, bring it, you cheat code monster. Oh my god, I hate that he calls him a cheat code monster. Ugh. You propping up this 29-cent McDonald's hamburger, Nagi. You ain't even in the same restaurant as, um, as, as, uh, Asagi. No. You are more like, you are in a Wendy's more than a McDonald's. I told you this is, I told you this is already over, you mediocre amateurs. Ooh, there's the redness. Dude, that jump was everything! Speaking of realizations, his dribbling, uh, kicking in soccer, um, I get the timing of this because Asagi, Asagi's realizing his soccer IQ is ass. Oh, got the timing of this! And I just realized that Gagabaru's IQ is, is, um, uh, Gagabaru's having his awakening, and just as Isagi's realizing his IQ is ass, Gagamaru's IQ is showing, his soccer IQ is going to be showing. E I'm so excited for that. Um, no, all his parameters are at 100% or even 200%. This is a prodigy. This is Rinatoshi. Prodigy doesn't even cover it. Rin is supernatural. Dude, this is beautiful. He's not human. Yeah. The third stage is three versus three rivalry battle. It goes to Team Red, five to two. We lost. Oh, we lost. Who do you uh, think took a Mitsu? Uh, Rin? Yay! Who do you think took a Mitsu? Rin? Who shall we steal? Doesn't matter. They're all the same. I teamed up with Saki, but we lost. Hmm. Then are you Ken? I think he'd be good. Yeah, I agree too. I want him too. Come on, uh, Maguru Bakura. Yeah. Let's get going. Don't space out, full cut. I hold your feet in my hands. Dang, I wanted to stick with you until the end, Asagi. Uh, stay with me until the end. Okay, Nagi, it's it's a promise. Bakura, I'm going against the rules, but I won't wait for you, Asagi. If you want me, then steal me back. Hey, Ray, listen to this. There's somebody even more amazing than me and Asagi. Things um, are dire and it's all over if we lose again. But even so, I wonder why I'm having so much fun right now. I could tell that I'm changing bit by bit. I don't want to leave yet. I want to keep playing soccer. I want to win. I want to get stronger. I would have never, I would have, uh, sorry, I never would have known this side of myself if I hadn't come to Blue Lock. I, would, I love this art so much. I wouldn't have gained this if I hadn't met you, Rayo. Hey, Rayo, if I see you again, there are so many things I want to tell you. I never thought changing could be so exciting. Dude, I love the opposite side of this. Where you have where you have Rayo, 
who's scared of change. Um, people change that uh, it's it's cruel. And where Nagi is excited about change, it, Rayo is scared of it. Because Rayo, as Rayo said, he is used to getting everything that he wants. And to see, like, the uh, his best friend, essentially, taken away from him, that's hard. That's really hard. Nagi really hasn't had anything. Nagi's the complete, again, yin and motif. Nagi is the complete opposite. Where he hasn't really had anything. And now he, things are changing for him where he's gaining something. But I do want to point out that with Asagi, Asagi's not really having fun. And, well, you can make the argument Asagi does have fun playing soccer, but it's not as much as, like, say, Nagi is. Nagi is enjoying... Nagi, and some, this is something else that I do want to point out. We're as comparing to uh, Blue Lock right now, what's happening in Blue Lock right now, where you have Nagi, like, realizing right away that there are... There, the world is bigger. Like, there is... Like, there are players that are... Even though he is a prodigy, there are... I don't even know if he realizes he's a prodigy at this point. But there are players, like, bigger... There are obviously better than him. And that the world of soccer is big. Asagi doesn't seem to fucking... Especially right now in the main manga. Asagi doesn't... Seems to, like, feel... To remember or realize that... Again, maybe it's because he's consumed by his ego. That there are players, like, better than him. Have, like, way more football um, IQ than him. Soccer slash football IQ than him. It's just... Uh, Saki is such a dumbass. It's like, this is what happens when you... Um, you prop... You have a... When you prop up a um, McDonald's... Or, sorry. When a 29 cent McDonald's hamburger tries to act like a Big Mac... <laughs> Like, Nagi, on the other hand, he's in a different league. He's not at McDonald's. No. He doesn't know what he has. He's under, under, he, like, undervalues himself. He does. Like, he is, like, he's on the value menu, or, no, I, Nagi is, like, more so an in and out burger than anything else. That's, oh, that is a good, that's a good one to go with. Yeah, Nagi is like an in and out burger more than anything else. Yes, that feels right. Does. Oh my God, it totally feels right. But I'm very curious what you guys think about this. And what do you guys think about like how this manga is kind of like setting or you know, episode Nagi is setting everything up for the, um, uh, for the eventual reunion of Rayo and Nagi at, um, at Manshine. Like, you know, when they play against Faster Motion, I really like that a lot. This is very well executed, but my God, the art, I would, I want to say this chapter is definitely hands down art and writing the best in this manga so far. I'm very pleased with it, despite that little bit of stiffness um, going on in a little bit of the art, a uh, little bit of the art, but God, the metaphorical art, this chapter, very, very pleased. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Ginseng. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kick in so we can keep bringing you more uh, Blue Lock content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.